Okay, so I know many of you want to know how to use EasyBay. It's so simple. You literally go straight to the website and there's a lot of things that they have on their website to help you with your citations. Mainly um, citation page, you'd have to upgrade it to get like to, to check in your paper and in-text citation. But I love EasyBib and I've been using it since I was in college. So let's get started. So go straight on EasyBib website right there. Create citations. Click, click, click. And go to the website. I know that many of you don't really use books and journals often. Journals and books probably when you get to a higher level. But for now, we'll just focus on the website. Would you click on that? You'll find your website. I'm going to use two articles that I looked for. I'm going to snatch up their URLs and then head over to EasyBib and then hit paste, click search, and they're going to take a look at what I have and certain things that I'm going to look for for credibility. And then they've got pretty much everything minus the publishing sponsor, and I'll show you where to find that. So hit continue. From here, you have the article, title, website, and here's where you find the publishing sponsor. Scroll all the way to the bottom, look for the copyright symbol. Right there at the very bottom, it says Verizon Media, that would be them. So you wanna grab that. So you end it, paste right there, and you're good to go. Very, very simple. So when you're ready to create your next citation, they usually save everything for you, as you can see right up there if you ever want to change the style you just drop it down but we use MLA 8 for our class you just copy the um, citation right here head over to your word document and boom paste there's your citation I'll talk about spacing when we get to the second citation when you're done you just create new citation you don't have to copy the top of like you don't have to restart easy bib. It saves all your citations. So right at the top, you'll click create new citation. So simple. And go back to website. Grab your new source. I'm going to use this other source here. And I'm going to grab the URL. And kind of paste it right in there. And that's going to do the, pretty much the same thing. I do want to point a couple things out to you this time around. It has everything that it's found and what's missing. We usually publish your sponsor or whoever. Um, if we notice right here, there's an article title. Double check everything to make sure it's accurate. Author's name. See, Sa Sasha Jones. We'll make sure that's accurate. Sometimes there's more than one author. Website title, publisher, URL. Um, I want to make sure those are accurate. I would just double check because, you know, systems are not flawless. Then you want to type in the publisher, uh, sponsor, scroll all the way down. Of course, get the copyright down there. Really easy. Snatch that right up and clean it up right there. Yeah, I mean, there's your URL, get the day. Not everything has a time, by the way. This one just so happens to have a time, like the 4.50 p.m. Most of the time, they don't have the time, and that's okay. If it doesn't have the time, do not worry about it. Use, use what you have. Don't make up names, don't make up dates, don't make up times. You use what you have. If an article doesn't have like a title, then you just use the author's name. If it doesn't have an author's name, you use a title blah 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 um all that stuff will be in your other lectures what you can what you can and can't do for in-text citation and with the reference page so 
it'd be really simple to just to use that. When you're done with your citations, you just literally will take a look at the rest of it. As you can see, you see how we have both of the um, citations created right there for you. And you just literally copy it, go right to Word. and paste it. Now you wanna double space everything to make sure you have everything formatted properly in MLA formatting. So I'm just gonna highlight, right click, paragraph, make sure everything's zeroed out, double space, hit okay. And that's it. Um, just a little FYI as well, you do wanna make sure you title the top of that page, work cited. Usually it's the last page of your um, paper. So it doesn't have to be a separate document, by the way. So this is the last page. You have your work cited page, all your blogs are posted, all good, all simple, beautiful. Don't make sure that your um, posts are indented and you're good to go. Very simple. Easy Bib is a great source to double check your in-text citations. I'm sorry, your reference page citations. All right.